prepare 100 milliliters uh, of a 0.1 molar buffer. And uh, I'd like to illustrate how that, to do this in the lab. Let's, uh, let's take citrate as an example. Citrate has three pKa's, 3.06, 4.74, and 5.40. So we could buffer at any of those three pHs. Let's choose the 4.74 as an example. And we see the molecular weight is given here as 294.1 uh, grams per mole. This is for the trisodium uh, hydrate material, which we have here in the lab. So citrate, as we'll learn, is a tricarboxylic acid, so it has, that's why it has three pKa's. And to calculate how much uh, sodium citrate we would need to prepare our solution, we can come over here to the board and calculate grams of trisodium citrate. Uh, it has water in it, but the molecular weight is 294.1 grams per mole. And we're making a 0.1 mole per liter, or 0.1 over 1,000 milliliter solution. And we need 100 mils of it. So if we multiply, we get 2.94 grams of sodium citrate are required. So then we'd come over to uh, our balance. And we're going to need uh, the following things. The uh, trisodium citrate, this is the dihydrate, uh, 294.1, yes. So that's the formula or molecular weight of this material. We'll need uh, some HCl. I've got some one molar hydrochloric. We'll need that to adjust the pH to 4.74. So we'll need a pH meter. We'll need some uh, DI water. And we'll need our analytical balance. So let's begin. So we'll dispense. Uh, we're going to need 2.94. So I'm going to put estimate that. Put that into our uh, dispensing beaker. Then we're going to take a, uh, we're going to do this, uh, initially we're going to make this solution in a beaker. Now we'll be shooting for uh, 100 milliliters final solution. So since we don't know how much HCl we're going to need, let's start out about 50 milliliters of water. So we're going to make it 50, then we're going to add HCl to adjust the pH, and then we'll make it up to 100. Uh, in fact, we'll transfer it to a volumetric flask. All right, so we'll start out with our empty beaker. We tear that, then we can do our transfer. Let's take this off here, 2.94, guesstimate how much that is, whoops, there's 2.0757, 2.94, let's go ahead and be careful here, take this out again so we don't spill any, and we might have to back and forth here, there's 2.5, Two point nine. Okay, two point nine four two. So that's uh, two point nine four one. So we could write that down in our log book. All right. So that's our uh, sodium citrate. So then we're going to add water to it. And we're going to add uh, less than the amount that we need. So we're going to take it up to maybe a little bit over fifty. So we've got. Uh, let's take it right there. Maybe sixty, sixty-five milliliters. All right. Then we need to uh, stir this. If I had a stirring bar, let's go ahead and we'll use this. Mix this up. Get that dissolved. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, check our pH while that's dissolving. And we could rinse this off. This was just uh, water. Rinse that. Oh, ahead of myself here. All right, let's go back. All right, we're at 8.45. 8.45. It's not all quite dissolved yet. Oh, yeah, here's my stirring rod. Stir that around. All right. All right. Now we have our HCl, one molar. So we're going to take the pH down to 4.74. So I've got some HCl. I've uh, got about 15 milliliters of one molar HCl. So let's add some of that. So added about five mils or so. 
All right, it's taking it down. There's 5.12, 5.11. All right, what we could do at this point is go to a, a pipette to adjust the final pH. So put some of that in. 4.74, there's 5.06. So just keep going back and forth, adding the HCl slowly. There's 4.95 little bit more, a few more drops. So we're basically titrating this material. 4.94. Of course it's getting more difficult to change the pH because we're nearing the pKa. There's 4.72. More drops. 4.74. There we go. It looks like it's all dissolved as well. All right. So at this point, uh, we are not to our target value of 100. We're a little over 75. So we're going to transfer this carefully then to 100 mil volumetric flask because we want our final volume to be 100 mils. This will be pretty accurate. All right. Now I take my squirt bottle or my source of DI water and bring that up to this mark. We're assuming everything's around room temperature. And there you go. And we put a, a stopper on here and mix that up well. Now just to check, so now we have 100 milliliters of solution. So let's check to see where we are on pH. Four point seven eight. So a couple drops. It's going to change our volume a little bit, but a couple drops if we wanted to bring that down. So this illustrates that we could have stopped below a hundred and then adjusted our pH and then brought it up to the four point seven. 4.75 there. Okay, I'll stop there.